long story short, everybody knows that gyms suck ass here in Japan. In America, there are like 20 different chains of gyms where you can pay around 10 bucks a month that are open 24 hours a day, have plenty of weights, machines, free weights, even like a room for stretching and yoga. But in Japan, it's just not the same. I mean, like people aren't into like getting bulky and working out like that, like they are in America. Even the people who are into working out, like they're not into getting bulky. But just in general, there are less people that are into fitness and working out like there are in America. I always say like, Japanese people always think like everyone in America is fat, which I mean, it's pretty true for as many fat people as there are in America and that like people in Japan would be surprised by like if they went to America and they were like, oh shit, like look at all these fat people. They would be just as surprised at how many people are muscular and in like super good shape because in Japan, there's just like not that many people here that are like really physically fit. There are a lot of people that are healthy and skinny and they eat okay. And they take care of their bodies all right, but they don't practice like serious physical fitness, especially not putting on muscle. Anyways, I digress. There's like a whole bunch of chains that are all around like eight, 8,000 yen to 10,000 yen, which is like, like 8,000 yen is, I don't know, around like 60 bucks USD. Um, 10,000 is like around 70 bucks USD. Not all of them, but many of them are 24 hours, but basically every single one of those gyms is small as fuck they only have one of each weight or machine dumbbells they only go up to like tw maybe 20 kilos max which is like 40 something pounds they don't have many machines and like dude this is dead ass i've been to multiple different gyms i'm not saying this is every gym in japan by the way so you don't mess motherfuckers who are about to be like well i have this gym in fukuoka and it's actually cheaper and it has like dude I'm talking about Tokyo and I'm talking about Japan in general. Good gym that's not super expensive and that actually has a decent amount of workout equipment is basically non-existent. Like I wouldn't even say hard to find because it's basically non-existent. However, there's Gold's Gym here. I actually haven't been to Gold's Gym. I would assume it's not nearly as big and nice and as well equipped as the Gold's Gyms in America, but I've heard that gym is like actually decent. However, I believe it's 15,000 yen, which is like 120, 130 buck range per month, dude. Insane compared to American standards. Which actually makes me wonder like, why someone hasn't come over here like from overseas and opened a cheap gym chain with like the actual red equipment. Cause I feel like you would make an insane amount of money. I would do it if I had the money and resources, but I'm a broke student. It's like the basic gyms, you got your anytime fitness, you got your Joy Fit, I think it's called. There's a place called like 24 something. A bunch of those gyms, they're all like 24 hours. It's around like the eight to 9,000 yen range, which I said is like 60, 70 bucks a month. And they all are small as fuck, cramped as fuck. They have a bunch of rules. A lot of them you can't go in with tattoos. They don't want you being on your phone in between sets because they think you're gonna like take too much time and you know it's small and there's not a bunch of equipment so people have to wait to use stuff. They don't want you listening to music too loud. I actually was in this gym one time and a dude took a phone call really quick while he was on the treadmill. The gym literally has music playing inside and someone from the desk came out to get him off the phone because she said it was noisy. There's literally music playing, like, like that's how crazy it is here. I can't speak on Gold's Gym but I will tell you it's expensive as hell but I'm sure it's decent. And I have heard that there's other like bodybuilding and powerlifting gyms for people who are like seriously, seriously into it, but it's a similar price range. I believe this guy in my class is paying 20,000 yen a month, which 20,000 yen is like 160 bucks or something like that. Maybe like closer to 150. It's that ridiculous. You can also go to a community center. Every town has multiple community centers. You usually do a membership and you pay like 500 yen, which is just a couple bucks and you get a membership for the year, but then every time you go, there's gonna be this little vending machine type thing with buttons on it, and it's probably like 100 yen for one hour. So like 70 something cents, and you put a little coin in, you press it, and it like logs you in. But you have to do that every single time you go. So then you're paying like, whatever, a couple bucks for the year membership, and then every time you go, you're paying a buck or two, depending on how many hours you wanna go. Worst part of it is, the gyms at the community centers, they look like, like the exercise room at a hospital, like a rehab room or something. There's no big weights. There's a bunch of old people and like children, like teenage girls. Weights only go up to five kilos at the gym that I was at, which is like 11 pounds. Went there for a year. 
I tried my best to do like body weight stuff. I was holding like three dumbbells at one time, and one time the lady yelled at me and told me not to do that because I was gonna drop them. It killed my gains, dude. I lost all my gains. I did a huge ass bulk. And then I said, when I get to Japan, I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna save all this muscle. Little did I know, the gym suck ass here. And I tried my best to keep up my gains at this like goddamn hospital, senior citizen rehabilitation gym. I lost all my gains, bro, I got so skinny. What I do now, and what I recommend you should do as well, for more reasons than one, look in your community, see if you can find a martial arts gym, whether it be kickboxing, judo, just all around MMA, boxing, anything like that, because there are a lot of martial arts gyms. Some of them are serious, some of them are not. I mean, ideally, you're gonna to wanna to go to the serious one so then you can actually train, like, get some dope-ass skills about defending yourself and learning how to kick a motherfucker's ass. But even if it's not, like, a super legit gym with pros and people who actually fight, odds are they have, like, shitty old weight equipment for the people that train. Usually, like, a squat rack and a bench and actually some heavy weights. They might be shitty and old and there's probably only gonna be one set of them, but odds are there's actually some heavy weights there. Combat sports are actually like super popular in Japan. Like not that many people train seriously. A lot of people train as like, you know, like kickboxing fitness and tai chi and weird stuff like that. But there are a lot of gyms and like every town you can find a decent one. And a lot of those gyms are cheaper than like real gyms and you can attend classes. The gym that I go to, it's 8,000 yen, which is like the average shitty gym price in Japan. And I can attend any class however many times I want whenever and i can use the equipment i can kick the heavy bags i can do whatever it's 8,000 yen for all of that equipment plus any of the classes i want i have noticed there's a couple other gyms like that like right in my town and most of them have weights people here aren't like super interested in like bulking up so nine out of ten times i go to the gym there's not a single person using the weights everyone's just in the class or hitting the bag i go to the gym when everybody's in class or doing whatever and I just lift the weights and they know me as the American guy who is lifting the weights so then you're knocking out two birds with one stone you're, I mean more than two birds with one stone you're getting a good gym price you're getting actually heavy weights and you're learning how to defend yourself so if, if you guys can find like a combat at sports gym that has like a decent price odds are they have weights and not many people are using them so that's what I would recommend and if you're too scared to like go into a wrestling or a combat sports gym like you should just cut that shit out right now because plenty of women, children, senior kickboxing fitness classes and all of that. So there's nothing scary about it. It's a good ass time. Additionally, you'll make friends when you're there because people actually want to talk. Cause like if you're at a regular weightlifting gym, everyone's got their headphones in and they're just working out by themselves. But if you're at like a gym where people are attending classes, people are talking to each other, you get to know people, you get to practice your Japanese also. So like, what reason do you have not to do that? It's a great idea. I'm full of them.